another HB suggested tourney playthrough here. I'm going to play my second round here for both of my events. Yep. Just, just thought I'd jump into a little impromptu, impromptu little setup here. Uh, just to hold on a second, just getting, just getting set up here. Should be good to go. Alright. Alright, so this is my second round of the Elite Cup. Sorry, let me move that. Get get the chat pulled up here. There we go. Alright, so uh, this is the like I said the Elite Cup. This is at Elm View. Uh, this is Reeb's course, excellent course, definitely go out and play this one, even if you don't qualify for the Elite Cup and the HB Suggested Tourney, highly recommend uh, you get out there and, and give this one a go. Alright, so we got light winds, maybe that'll, maybe that'll help me, oh, don't go too far, it's going to be close, oh, alright, alright, light rough, not too bad. It'll require a bit of work here to get there, but I think we can do it. Come on, carry, carry. Oh, that is going to work out really well. Couldn't have planned that any better. Nice. Now the trick is you got to capitalize. Yes. All right, so birdie's the first hole. Quite exciting. Going to number two. A little bit of a helping wind. It's tough when you gotta. If you're gonna try and ride the wind, you really gotta keep it down that right side and flirt with it. Because now it drifts. There we go. Though we got a nice little bounce. All right. In good shape. Number two. Uh, I'm gonna play this one, and then I'll play my other one. Uh, drawing a blank on what what course that was. Um, I write it down. Wow, Wild Dunes. Yeah, that's right. The Pro Am Handicap Cup. All right. So the tough part of here is if you go for that pin, you you might go too far. You're almost better off hitting it in here somewhere. So let's do that. Definitely gonna take some off here. Try and hit the fat of the green and see if we can't make a putt. Come on, kick left. All right, it's drifted over a little bit. That wasn't too shabby. Let's see if we can. A 25 footer. If you go for that pin, might be tough to keep it on there, so that's a too bad 25, up two. Oh man, I thought I played that to perfection. All right. This is the winning US Open course for the TGC Tours, so, uh, you know, making a par is never a bad thing here. What's up to everybody in chat? Hey, Carl 2 k Thank you, appreciate it. Hello as well. Uh, anybody who's just joining in, if you haven't hit that follow button down there at the bottom, that would be awesome if you could do that. That'll also, you can set it up so you get a little notification. Oh, man. That, uh, you know, whenever we go live, I do a few streams each week here. Wednesday is our Q&A live stream with one of the devs. Each week I have a different guest on. Anyone from Anthony, the producer of the show. This past week I had John, the commentator, so that was that was pretty fun. You can always go to our YouTube channel, HB Studio Developer, and and uh, you can always watch the the old broadcasts. All right, so we got a nice little cut through there. Now we're set up into. Really good shape here. Um, 
Fridays, at, that's at 3 o'clock on Wednesdays, Eastern Time. On uh, Fridays, I do the same, 3 o'clock Eastern. I'm going to play the first round of these two HB suggested tournaments that I qualify for. And uh, today I, I was about to play my second round, so I said, what the heck, I'll just I'll jump in and do a little impromptu stream here and show my second round. Uh, on Fridays, though, I'll also do a third round on the third suggested course. I don't qualify for the tournament, but I'll just play a regular round. And that way, if anybody uh, anybody wants to join in, I mean, you're welcome to join in during my tournament rounds as well. Just make sure you go through. Uh, I would I would advise to go through the uh, the main tournament menu. Don't follow the message center, as sometimes that'll screw you up and send you back to like the first round if you're going into the second. So this is my second round. So if you're playing your second round, feel free. Jump on. If you're on my friends list, you'll pop up automatically. I have it set to auto add friends on here. Uh, I can do the same for, like I said, on Fridays, the third course of the suggested list. I'll, I'll just do a regular round on that one. Just so that way we can, I can showcase all three of the, oh no. Oh my God. What a pathetic chip that was. Stop. Oh, what a mess. Yeah. Cross has some nice tutorials on the YouTube. Yeah. We got a bunch of tutorials on there. It's also on the Golf Club uh, webpage. You can find them there as well. Oh, man. What did I do? Get up. Get up. Okay. All right. Take my medicine here. I screwed that one up. Should have had a birdie there, but all right. So we got Ray Fox is in at one under so far. Float Gang is even through four, and Jack Garrison is plus four through his round. Uh, so as I was saying, also then I'll do. I also stream the community play days. Those you'll find the signups in the HP forums. I do. I have Xbox and PC right now, hoping to get a PS4 down the road. But right now, those are the two platforms that I have the game on, and it'll be over the course of the weekend. I'll set it up as the week goes along. You know, unfortunately, I, I can't give too long a notice with family. You know, sometimes there's family commitments on the weekends and things, but over the course of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll get those two in. I'll vary the time, so, you know, we can get the UK guys, the East and West Coasters here in the U.S., that way everybody has a, a good chance at getting a chance to play. Uh, but look for those signups in the in the HB forums. And what I do is I pick two courses that are built on the platforms that we're playing on that day. So that way we can showcase those. Last night, uh, Reeb and I played on the PC. We did a, it was just only two of us. So him and I did turn-based, but usually the first three to sign up. We'll do a foursome, just kind of play. We can always set up a little match, total score type thing, or or just play it as we go. That's what we did on the Xbox on Friday night. Come on, turn in there. Turn, baby. Oh, burns the lip. Should be able to tap that home. There we go. Um, yeah, if you happen to be watching this, after the fact on YouTube, please like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. That would be sweet. Oh, see this hole is just, this one just tempts you. It says, come on, try to drive me. And do you just let it fly and rip it through the trees and hope clear the bunkers? Or do you just drop it out here and leave yourself with a short pitch in? I think that's the play. Maybe it's, you know, straight down wind. You got a good shot to drive the green here. I should stop at the fairway. Yeah, yeah, it's a really cool hole. Nice short hole. But can be devious. You put yourself in one of those bunkers and then suddenly all heck is breaking loose as you, as you try and uh, navigate your way. But with this setup, I should be able to put something right by the flag. Oh. Yeah, that's no good. That was no good. Let's see if we can get this putt. Got to make birdie on this hole. 
Mm -hmm. Footer. Ah, oh, dang it. Shit. Where are we at there? All right. So we stayed at minus one. Ray Fox still at minus one as well. Uh, looks like overall there's three of us at plus one for the event through this is the second round. These are both four round events that I'm that I'm qualified for here, so. Alright, so two twelve down twenty. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna loft up a little bit, try and bring this in from the right side, let the wind ah uh, come on, wind. Thought you were my friend, I was counting on you. Apparently not. Ah, uh, that was ugly. That was ugly. All right, let's see if we can let's see if we can do a little bit better flop than last time here. I do not want to go too far. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh! Do you, you see that thing? <laughs> that thing went right up to the hole. Took a peek in and said, "Nah, it's a little, a little too far down to, for my liking. I'll wait." Ah, oh, that was so close. That would have been sweet. All right, so go to what do we got here? Number seven. I don't think you can. Uh, downwind, you probably could take a little extra there, but uh, let's go out this way. We'll take it out this way and leave ourselves to shot. It's going to be a long shot in, so I mean, if you do have the wind, you can cut that left side over there. Leaves you with a much better shot, but I'm sure much shorter. But now we got to work ourselves working around this tree. It's tough, though, because you got to Tough spot to land here, but let's work it around. I'm gonna go down to the 181. Try and draw it around the tree a little bit here. You, well, you know what? Well, it'd be close. I don't know if you even need to draw that, but oh, if this stays on top, come on, sit, 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 sit. Ah, uh, so close to being perfect there, but we just went down into the little bowl. I don't know that tree. That tree would have been close. I don't know that I could have gone straight over it, but it certainly makes you think about it, which is cool. All right, 27, up six. Come on, turn. Oh, darn it, I hit that just a little too hard. I took, cut the breakthrough. Bob's is brutal greens. They're tough. I mean, this is the US Open. Uh, winner course for the TGC Tours contest, so I definitely got to it's definitely got to play tough, but uh, I think it plays fair though. To be honest, I think it's a very fair course. You can, I mean, it's tough to score. I'm not gonna lie, but I think you know, obviously that's what they're that's what they definitely wanted. But from my from what I can tell, I don't I don't know the exact settings, but I don't think. I think the firmness is is super high. I mean, it's definitely up there. It's not. It's probably. It's definitely above that 12 o'clock on the dial. But um, and I forgot the speeds. The putting was like. I look again. 196 or so. Uh, 160, 166 on the on the putting. So it's. I mean, it's not the top. 187 is the top speed. So. Uh, but yeah, you definitely gotta. You definitely gotta work the ball and you know let it release out to the holes. Yeah, so that that I should have hit if I could hit a little shorter on that one I would have been in better shape, but I rolled through. Of course this can be a brutal game. Love it for that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I'm hoping uh, I've certainly put in the suggestion and and we've talked about that uh, of separating out the greens firmness and the fairway firmness would be ideal because then you could, you know, up the fairway firmness as high as you want and make the greens a little more receptive if you turn that super high. 
you know, then it's almost impossible to hit green. So hopefully they'll be able to separate that out in the near future. I think that'll make it you know, a little more playable. There's even, you know, even the PGA Tour, you know, pros can definitely, uh, they can, uh, uh, what do you call it, stick the greens and, and be able to hold shots into greens. So certainly some tweaking there is definitely, definitely be a good thing. But yeah, like you guys say, I mean, I don't, I don't want it to be super easy and it all depends on how people build their courses. I build mine. I don't, you know, I don't go for super hard. I like mine realistic, playable. So my courses tend to be on the easier side. Oh, it's going to get up. Yep. Yep. That looks good. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to go low. It's also fun to, if you get a solid, you know, a solid course like this is tough, but I, like I said, I think it's fair. So it's, I have a lot of fun playing this one. All right, now, oh crud, I forgot to play the side hill lag. Ah, kick to the right, stay. Ah, oh, I made a mistake there. That's ah, my fault. I didn't play the side hill lie, so it, it went farther left than I was expecting. I wanted it to kind of drill into that, into that, uh, into that green and run back the length of the green there. That was dumb play by me. Right there, okay, should be able to get my par. Ooh, tricky. There we go, gotta be firm with that one. Usually I kinda like to dive my putts into the hole a little bit, but that one, you let it die in there and you're, for sure you're gonna miss to the right. So you gotta be, sometimes you gotta be, take a little bit of a firm approach on your putt. Uh, here, here I'm dropping down. There's no reason to hit driver there. And, it's only 76, so let's hit the three wood. Hit the fairway first and foremost. And then we'll worry about the second shot from there. The driver, I don't know, would have been close. Alright, so now I got 120. It's into a five mile an hour wind, so I'm just gonna loft it down just a touch. And see if we can't drop this right down on top of the flag. Oh, yes, sir. There we go. Okay, now we got to make the putt. Now you got to make this. Come on now. Mm. Those lines, those first couple of lines are moving much quicker than the second set. So, ah. Nine footer. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. See that? Those first two lines just took that right off the bat. Ah, I should have played the whole putt like it was going to move really fast. Bummer. Ah. Hate to hit it, such a good approach shot and not get, not get the uh, bird there. Okay, well, Ray Fox is at two for through eleven. He's they're one hole ahead of me on the leaderboard, so he's at even overall. Right, like I said, this is only round two of a round four, so still a lot of time. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, that's the safer route, but the problem is, see if you get down in here. Uh, I don't think you're okay. I don't think that other that other tree is gonna block. Gerbil 72. It's the putting I really struggle with. Uh, it does take some getting used to. It's it's really it's really about the feel with the putting. But keep at it. You'll definitely you'll definitely uh, get used to it. It's all feel. Make sure you move that that yellow stick. You can move it. That kind of gives you. Kind of gives it a rough estimate as to where you're trying to aim for and the, it'll adjust for that so if it's a big downhill putt you want to move that stick closer to you and that you won't get you know as much power into the putt and vice versa you know if it's if you're an uphill putt maybe drop it back an extra box i think that'll that'll help you out ah uh, see another tricky one here the other thing i found which i used to struggle with long putts i used to you know i'd go back and i'd i'd click the stick up pretty quick and the putt would go halfway, like a 40-foot putt. It would go 20 feet. Now, I take it back and then just, you know, nice and smooth back up. And he kind of it has a much better tempo into the putt. And I find I'm, I'm hitting those 40-footers. I'm hitting them 40 feet now. So give that a try as well. I think that'll help you out. But otherwise, it's just practice. Uh, yeah, I struggled with the putting when I first started. But I've definitely gotten 
definitely gotten better with it. Mm. Okay, that was, cause you gotta think your way around this course for sure. There's just pins that you, I mean everybody, you know, you, you always want to stick the pin, but you just can't. So you gotta do this. Take it out to the side, that's okay. And now we'll try and roll in a 25 footer. You hear it, like I'm saying, I'm moving that stick in a little because it's down two. So I'll move that yellow line in. See, oh, that turned hard. Uh, that turned hard right off the bat, but look at, see? See the uh, speed there was perfect. And it, kinda, it always kind of sets you up a little bit back behind the pin, but if it's an uphiller, you know, you can, uh, you can move it even back a little farther and help you out. Uh, crosses, you're not the only one, mate. When I first started my rounds, we're like 12, 13 over. <laughs> yep. Yep, I definitely, I think like everybody, I, I mean, I definitely wasn't shooting as well when I first started. Oh, man, see this one. What do we got here? 440. If I land it out in here, yeah, got a clear shot. So I don't want to take driver and... You don't need to force it. That's the big key. Don't force the shot here. So go three wood. Hopefully it'll bounce out. A little kick to the right here. Yeah. Beauty. Beauteous. That's what I was looking for. Now I'll have a nice, nice perfect shot. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Be Boulder? Is that how you pronounce it? Hopefully I'm, I'm pronouncing it right. If uh, anybody who's new to the stream, definitely hit that hit that little follow button down at the bottom. That's much appreciated. That'll give you, you can set it up so you get an email whenever I, whenever we go live with our stream. It's always, always appreciated if you guys click on that. Uh, certainly, and also if you're watching it, you know, down the road, we I upload everything to our YouTube channel. So if you're watching it after the fact, uh, if you hit that like and subscribe button, that would be that would be awesome. All right, so back to the action here. Hmm, this, see, this is another tricky one. I should not, I probably shouldn't go at this pin, but the good part is, is if I do go through the fairway, I'm only going to have like, you know, four or five yard chip, so I'm okay with that. Probably shouldn't, I probably should go into the middle there. Uh, B, what, what platform are you on? And let me know when did that, you know, what, like, exactly what are you getting and when did it start? Maybe I haven't. If you're on PC uh, and you're using an, an NVIDIA card, the latest driver, there's a known issue that we're having with that. We're trying to sort it out. Uh, the easiest thing to work around now is just to roll back your NVIDIA driver and you won't get that crash. We're hoping to have a patch out very soon on that one. The guys have it narrowed down, basically. I don't know the backs down, background stuff, but... Uh, they've got it narrowed down to like two lines of code and they're just trying to They're trying to nail it down. So check your check your driver. I see you say you're on PC See if you can roll if you roll back your Nvidia driver Just go into the settings there and you should see roll back driver uh, Give that a shot Like I said, hopefully that patch will be out, you know In a near date. Oh go in. Oh my goodness. Did you see that? Oh, and I got achievements. Nice. Pinned. Well, that saved me because that was probably going well past. And I will gladly take that, Verdi. Uh, Gerbil is season mode there yet for Xbox One. It is not there yet. Uh, it is in the update that's coming out any day now. It's in, unfortunately, the best I can answer is it's in certification with the consoles. Once it goes into their hands, it's out of our hands. There's nothing we can do. We basically just wait for them to, wait for them to pass it. Uh, I mean, I'm really, I'm really hoping it's, you know, in the next couple of days. I don't, I don't have any info on it though. You know, I'm just, I'm just hoping what we're hoping because we're all extremely anxious for everybody to, uh, to get their hands on it. It'll get you the season mode, the tropical theme, the Delta theme is coming out. And then of course all the updates like cart paths, OB, drop balls, uh, weather, Xbox is going to be going up to 900p. So there's a lot of good stuff coming out with this update and the DLC that we can't wait for everybody to to uh, you know, get a hold of. Unfortunately, we had the problems there with the consoles where we had submitted submitted everything, and I don't know this uh, you know doing the retail release with 
with the uh, the disc version has just been it's been crazy since it's been out on digital. Even the consoles didn't even really know how to handle it. So we uh, had some. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, sit ball. Oh, okay. All right. False alarm. I thought I was going far to the left. We're good. We're good. Uh, even the consoles didn't even really know kind of how to handle it. So uh, we're very sorry about that. But we're hoping we're hoping we get it squared away. And the good news is once. Once this update comes out, you know, because the PC already has all the DLC, it's so much easier to, I don't know, it's a long story, but PC is way easier to submit updates for. You can basically do one every day. Consoles do not allow that. They require at least a couple weeks between submissions and things, so it's a whole, it's a whole different animal with consoles. But once, uh, get over that tree. Once the DLC and updates are out for consoles, everything is going to be on the same playing field. The disc, retail version, di digital version, all going to be the same. So going forward, hopefully, I'm not going to, that's me not knocking on my wood desk here. Hopefully everything will go very smoothly and we'll be, uh, we'll have much smoother sailing from here on out. Uh, I know people are upset, why retail release, what's the deal? But, you know, there's, uh, still, unbelievable people out there that don't even know about this game yet. So to get into retail is like a huge uh, coup. Uh, especially like I went to Walmart and boom, right there at eye level. I mean, that's like some serious, uh, serious shelf space right there, right at eye level. Golf club. Um, GameStop had a big poster right inside the doorway. So to be able to get it into more people's hands, and I know people. I read some people accusing us, oh, we're trying to get people to buy, you know the disc version. That is absolutely not the case. We we're not trying to get any of the digital users to buy that. Yeah, I mean, you had to you had to make the retail release, you know, worthy for someone to want to go pick it up. So that's, that was kind of how it worked out. And, you know, you get it into stores and people who, there's a lot of people who don't buy digital still. They're not into it. So to get it into a retail situation was a huge bonus. And uh, Anthony is over in the UK right now working out the final deal on the UK version of the disc, so that should be hopefully announced in the near future. And that'll be great as well, and all that does is, you know, create more, be able to support the game even further when you get more people buying the game, so hopefully the retail release will be a, a big success for us. Alright, so, anyway, after my long diatribe there, sorry. <laughs> Let's get back to this putt, now that I've been looking at it for, for a minute. Alright, so... It's a tricky one here. I do not want to blow this pass and go way down the hill. So let's let's just trickle it down there. If I miss, so be it. Okay. All right. That's fine. I did not want to blow that past the hole. So that was a risky little or a tricky little putt there. We'll take our par and run to the next tee. Uh, Gerald is cool. So happy it's going to be 900p on Xbox One. Is that in this update? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, I'm excited too because I have I have my Xbox right over there. I'm actually playing on the PC right now, my PC. But I have an Xbox, but I'm with you guys. I don't I don't have that update yet. I have all the other good stuff. I know what's going to be in it. Obviously, I can see it in my PC build, but no, I know it's awesome. But I can't wait for you know all the toys on the Xbox and hold on. What is my? I must have said something in the Xbox. Think some. Xbox thinks I want to rewind my my stuff here. <laughs> uh, sorry. One second. One second. Sorry, guys. There we go. I don't know why Xbox must have heard me say something. But uh, so yeah. Oh, I don't know. I think I gotta go up a club. So I'm looking forward to it as well because I I don't have the. Uh, I work from home, so I'm not in the studio, so I have not seen what the update looks like on Xbox and things. But I'm hoping it's I'm hoping it's going to be really good. Oh, this looks pretty good. Sit ball. Ah, oh, if I hit the green, I would have been in so much better shape. Uh, Crawl says more peeps buy it the better for everyone involved. To be honest, yep, that is exactly right. Uh, yeah, of course cost money to support the game for sure and we're a small little studio so every little bit helps we want to keep this game going for a long time all right there we 
every little bit. Downs 14, down 8. I just got to get this. Just get it moving. Stay on line. Stay on line. Oh, yes. Got it. Uh, Jarvis says, so there's no difference between digital and disc. They both have the same stuff. At the moment, no. The, di uh, the disc version has the tropical and it has the seasons mode. Uh, but they also paid, you know, they paid a little bit more. So basically when you when you buy the DLC, you'll have paid pretty much a similar price, maybe $5 difference. But, um, you know, obviously everything, every game comes down in price as it, as it goes along. It's no different than any other game. But uh, once the, the consoles get their DLC, then digital and disc will be exactly the same. Absolutely no difference. Uh, the disc version does not have the update so they don't have cart paths they don't have ob you know none of that stuff that i mentioned so they're waiting for the update as well on that side of things and then like oh uh, i hooked that a little bit as i said once once this dlc is out and the update is out everybody is going to be you know in exactly the same boat so hopefully going forward you know all updates will be all the same and all good stuff. All right, so can you keep this online. Stay, stay, stay. Oh man, that was close. Uh, across this thing, in thing me and the friends like the most is the fact that I can go do a round while my friend at work, or vice versa, and they have something to beat when they log in. It's a great addition. Yep, exactly. Well, that's yeah. That was kind of the vision that that HP had on that front is to do the ghost balls. Uh, so, you know, I know a lot of people are are asking for lobbies and and the online multiplayer, but there's pluses minuses to that, you know. You could what if there's nobody around and you're just sitting in the lobby twiddling your thumbs, waiting, waiting, waiting. Or you're whipping somebody's butt and they say, Oh, you know what, screw it, they quit and then your game gets disconnected. You know, that sucks when that happens. So uh, you know, each side has their pluses and minuses, but um, we're hoping to add more game modes to this to the online to the ghost play like this and then uh hold on alright 328 no reason the driver will just lay it up down there in the fairway uh and then even hopefully have the possibility that you could just meet up you know with anybody and not have to have the person on your friends list uh, what happens the lobby system obviously would be a huge investment to make for you know for the small uh, small indie studio but the other the other thing there is that the way it's set up now, you don't need a gold, uh, I'm going off Xbox Live, but you don't need a gold subscription to play the game. I have my HB QC account on Xbox. I, that's just a silver account, and I can play the game. I can play with friends. So if you go to a lobby system, it's going to go behind the paywall. And, you know, that not everybody buys Xbox Live, I know. It seems crazy. <laughs> but not everybody does, so it would force people to spend more money to, to play the game in in reality so like I said there's a lot of there's a lot of pluses you know, there's some minuses of course to the system but like I said it's awesome you can play around and your buddy comes home from work oh let me see who curled it oh, okay I'm gonna take them on and you know it's almost like playing it's almost like playing live you could you play their ghost and then of course you can you can play live if you guys happen to be on at the same time so I like it I have I mean I have no issues with the way the system is set up now, I kind of like it. Uh, Ten footer. Oh, ah, cruddy putt. I play with my brother and a bunch of guys, and you know, we get on the same course. You got yourself live on the scoreboard. You start up a party chat on Xbox, and you're chatting away while you're playing. And, uh, and for me, I like to play quick. Ooh, okay, got it. So I like to to hammer out around in you know 25, 30 minutes. So I like the the way the system is. You can just uh, yeah, you, know, you move along at your own pace. And you don't have to. You know, you're not stuck watching. Some people like turn-based, and that's in the game as well. I prefer. I prefer it like this, but you know, I've done turn-based at times. It's you know these three each have their own merits. So. Ah, uh, wind! Come on! I thought you were my friend. Again. You did nothing for me. Uh, it's gonna roll to the back. It's gonna come back. No. Uh, Jerbal says like rival mode in Power Star Golf. I never played that one actually. I never played Power Star. All right, so we 
gotta be careful here. Maybe I should have put that. I don't know. Oh shoot! I should have put that. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Oh, that was pathetic. How did I? Did I even? Did I just put it off the other side of the green? Oh man! That was sad. Sad, sad putt. All right. Well, let's see if we can get this back here. Twenty-seven of eight. Oh, uh, completely screwed that up. That is going to be a bogey. All right, I had it to three under, but that's going to put me back to two. All right, so on the leaderboard, I'm two under today. Bloat Gang minus one, Ray Fox even, and Jack Garrison plus one. Overall, Bloke Gang and I are even th for the tournament. Ray Fox plus two, Jack plus three. It's going to 18 here, so let's see if we can let's see if we can end on a high note here. This one. Uh, I remember. Shoot, I think I went through the fairway. All right, let's do this. Let's put a draw. And hope to take it up into that left corner up there. I think there's enough fairway for me to run it out. Oh, this should be perfect. Oh, love it when a plan comes together. Yes. Let's see now if we can see if we can execute the next shot here. Ooh. You do not want to get over here behind that stuff, so let's take this up. You know, if we can get it rolling into this green, it should feed back towards the hole. So let's go right here. 245, that should get me there. Oh, come on now. This could be set up. Could be set up really nice here. If we can execute. Alright, sit. Sit ball. Oh, I got too much. Dang it. Too much on that. I should have gone down to the 225. Okay. Tricky little pin, though. But we can do it. Stay high. Stay up. Oh, just missed the eagle putt. The chip. Oh, stop. Ah, oh, man. I'm not learning. I didn't learn nothing. I my chips there. Okay. Got to make this. Come on now. Nine up four. <laughs> you big dummy. Ah, oh, that stinks. Gave away one there. Green side of two. Cannot get up and down. Alright, so, I'm pretty happy though. Minus two. Just had the one blemish there on 17, so I'm pretty happy with that round. So, that gets me to... Leaves me even overall for the tournament. Bloke Gang even as well. Ray Fox plus two. Jack Garrison plus three overall. As you can see, I shot 73 in the first round, came back with a 69, so got the round of the tourney so far. Even though just, well, this is just the PC guys, of course, but uh, not doing too bad, I think. So let's, let's move across, and now I'll play my other round. Okay, so let's, let's back out of here. And now, oh, wrong button tournament play all tournaments and here you go that's where you find there's all your suggested tournaments so this is the other one that I qualify for the Pro-Am Handicap Cup uh, this is on Wild Dunes Golf Club this is by KCK Fire uh, this is another great course if you've I don't know if you have played his other course he had Tobacco Dunes uh, that is a real course recreation excellent course Again, that one had tons of sand, and just like uh, this one, he did, I think he really did the rural theme justice on, on this one. This one's a lot of fun. Definitely a little easier than the last course. <laughs> this one you can score definitely better. Like I said, the last one was Reeves. Uh, he was the, the winner of the TGC Tours U.S. Open contest, so it was made to play very difficult. Yeah. All right, so... After the first hole there, we'll show you where I stand. But this is my second round out of four in the, the Pro-Am Cup. All right. So, 
question is, can might be able to get there. Let's go out here. We're going to cut it back into the wind. I think downwind. Come on, ball. Cut, 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 cut. I might be able to chase it back there. Come on. Keep feeding to the right. No, don't go left. Ah. Just couldn't quite get it back there. That's going to make for some difficult. I may have almost been better missing the green here. Hmm. That's a tough one. If we don't get back to the top level back there, but that's all right. We can work with that. I say the greens are definitely slower here. 42 feet. See, like that, I just kind of... Oh, no. I just kind of choke is what I do. Ah, oh, seriously? That was brutal. Okay. So now we were looking at a great opportunity for birdie. Now we're just trying to make par here. Ah, oh, that stinks. Oh, even that comes away short. I'm so used to the the previous course. I should have played this one first, maybe. Okay. Nine footer. All right, got the bur or the got the par. So at least we save that. Uh, as you can see, oh, I bogeyed that. What? Oh no, yeah, I, I parted, but I gave. I'm giving up a shot. I have a 10 handicap, plus 10, so I'm giving up 10 shots here. Very difficult, but uh, yep. So that puts me at plus one net. I am one gross, but overall, I'm plus one net. The leader is minus five, so it's gonna be a really tough one to get to the top of the leaderboard because this one. This one calculates your handicap, so it's a lot tougher. So I basically need to shoot 10 under just to get to even in terms of net. But that's okay. Still a fun, fun event. It's a great course. So, all right, 24 down. Gonna go down to the 170. Let it ride the wind right there. It should be. It should play pretty good, right right about where it is there. Mm, sit down. Alright, that's not too bad. About 15, 20 feet maybe. Oops, 16 footer. A little bit of break here. Down one. Get in. Yes, sir! Okay, that's the way we need it to do. All right, so that gets us back to even net, so that's good. Sorry, guys. Telephone is ringing. I let the machine get that. <laughs> All right, so we will go to, this should play just about right, I think. Looking pretty good. Just a little left, but there we go. That'll get us inside 10 feet. Should give me a good opportunity. Nine footer down two. Ah, uh, there we go. Almost let it slip by. Okay, got the bird. So gets us to minus one net. We're uh, gets us in good shape. Good start. This one, downwind, you, you can get really close to the green, but I'm into the wind, so I'm hoping with that pin on the far right side, that tree looks a lot worse than it is. If that pin was farther left, you could have some issues with it, but as you can see, I'll, I'll be able to skirt right by that. So let's go to, oh, I'm going to go to the flop here, loft it up a bit into the wind. Should be right on it. Ah, uh, I lofted up too much. All right, so third eleven footer down three. There we go. So that keeps me at minus one net. I must have been giving up a stroke there. I was. All right, let's go to number five. Long par four, 
grip it and rip it. Just want to beast one down there and then see what you got into the green. One sixty five, up seventeen. You got a little bit of a backboard there, so you got no excuse not to get this with a decent putt here. One sixty five. You should play just about perfect right here. Ah. Uh, I had a little, oh no, I hooked it a little bit. Oh man, what a huge mistake that is. Big mistake. Uh, you gotta hit that green. Oh my god. <laughs> Even worse, I'm compounding it. Compounding the mistakes here. Ah, I'm gonna make a bogey here. This is terrible. That was such a bad sand shot. Darn it. Uh, cannot afford to make bogeys here when you're a plus 10. Alright, well, now we got a lot of work to do here. This one, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to get there anyway into the wind, but I'm going to go down this right side. Get you a little closer to the green by keeping it down this right side as opposed to going out to the left down there. Well, yeah, 274 into the wind. We're not going to get there because of the wind, so let's go out this way. Take it out this way. It should leave us with a nice short little pitch in. Yeah, we're in good shape. 53, it's up 4. Play the wind a little bit. Should put us should get us close. Okay. That's not too bad. Should be able to make that. Eight footer. Down two. There we go. Alright. Must have been giving up a shot there because we stayed it. Yep. Made the bird, but we gave up one to the net, so we're even net. Number seven. Par 3. Still has never been a hole-in-one on the HP live stream. Trying to talk myself into it here. Come on now. 166. Alright, this should play pretty good. We're downhill, downwind. Oh, uh, that's not going to do it. Oh, I'm not even going to hit the green. I had too much. Shoot, okay. I can make a good chip here. Get in there. Yes. All right. So we're giving up another shot there. So that was a huge chip there to save the shot net wise. Okay. Get a driver downwind. We can probably could have cut even more there. Yeah, I could have taken that much closer to the green, but that's okay. Such a short hole, we won't really have a won't really have an issue there. 154. 54. We're gonna loft it up. Come on now, wind. Bring it over a little bit. I'm counting on you. Uh, I loft it up too much. Not breaking too much. Let's see what we can do here. 17, up 3. Oh, yeah. Got it. That's going to get us to minus 1 net. Nice. Two sixty-five here. Let's give that a rip. We're in good shape. Don't want to go too far left, though. Come on. Alright, we got that tree down there, although probably can hit it over. It's down nine, so we're going to loft up here with the wind. Hopefully the wind brings us over to the pin. It's looking pretty good. Let's see if I got the distance right. Uh, I'm going to get some bounce, which really helped me out there. 
I lofted that up too much. The bounce was huge, though. Five footer, bingo. Gets me to two under net. Gotta make the birds here to keep pace. This one, we're gonna take it down that right side. Wind's gonna drift us a little bit, but we should be fine. Yeah, we can just get it out past that tree. So that tree should not be an issue. 86. Definitely got locked up here. The wind, oh there we go, that wind is bringing it right in nice. Come on now. Too bad at all. A little bit of a breaker coming here, 10 footer. Oh, yes. All right. Another bird. I, I gave up a shot there. Gross. So we're. I gave up one on each of the last ones. So we're, we're at seven under, but we're only one net. And we still got to give up four more shots the rest of the way. So we got to keep. Gotta keep making the birds here. So that one's 175, down six. I think the 170 club should play just about right here. Come on. Oh, set now. Ah, uh, didn't think it was gonna run out a little bit, but all right, we still got a good, still got a good putt at this. 11 footer down four. Oh, I hit it too hard. Darn. Ah, missed opportunity. Missed opportunity right there. Alright. Give this one a rip. 617, par 5. It's a beast of a hole, so it's three shotter all the way. Leaves you 341. So you got a little trouble with that tree, but I'm gonna go over this way and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it over here and draw it around. Come on, baby, keep drawing. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Leaves me 99 into the wind. I'm gonna loft down on the 95 club. See where we end up. There we go. Perfect distance. Four footer. Bingo! Got the bird. It gets us to minus two net. So, here we stand. Ooh, Patcon with a minus six net today. He's on fire. He's seven overall. I'm a two overall. He's tied with Hatch there at. This one's tough. 245. I'm hoping this wind will slow me down a little bit. Trying to turn in. No. That's a tough one. It's tough to try and take something off the three wood and the five wood. Alright. Try and get a nice chip here. Come on, turn in there. Keep turning. Oh, yes, baby. That was sweet. That thing, you see that was going right down since the last minute. Just turn. Ah, oh, awesome. All right, gets me to three under. Ah, oh, this one. This one, he's just tempting you to, to go for it. So let's go over this way a little bit. Hopefully the wind. Come on, wind. Keep working it. Keep working it. Ah, bad kick. Ah, I'll be chipping. Ah, Batman 9 says, are you confident the Seasons DLC will be on Xbox One in June? Oh, definitely. Yep, that DLC should be out any day now. And the DLC on Xbox will include the Tropical theme, the Seasons mode, and the Delta theme as well. So that, like I said, it's in certification with MS right now, so we're, we're 
anxiously awaiting it and hoping it's going to be literally any day. Uh, that's that's the best we can best we can offer right now because once it goes into their hands, there's you know it's out of our hands. We basically find out when they pass it, they'll let us know. Okay, it's passed, and we you know we'll we'll push it through. The last update, uh, Anthony said he was at dinner on a Friday night and he got a call saying it's live, and so he got I think uh, I think it may have been Rami or somebody called and said hey go. <laughs> get this out so someone ran back to the office and pushed it live that was cool uh thanks you're welcome 10 bucks yep 10 us 10 us dollars all right so uh this is a tricky one here so short but he's got down 10 the wind is pushing it down to looks pretty good oh all right got a favorable bounce. Oh, keep rolling go Down one. Nice. There we go. So it keeps me at minus three. I know I was giving up a few shots here at the end. Uh, but I was just looking forward to it. Best golf game around. Yes, thank you. Appreciate it. I definitely agree. <laughs> I think it's an awesome game and it's endless amount of courses. There's, I mean, you can't keep up with all the great courses that are coming out. There's always, always a great course on tap to play. All right, so two, oh, this one is tough. I'm going to go down to the 207 and hope that the wind and the downhill is going to land me on the front of that green. Get up ball. Oh, I hit the fringe. That's going to jump it out. Darn, I needed to hit the green. It would have been a softer bounce. And that, look at that. Oh, and I'm going to stay on the green, too. Oh, that's going to be brutal. I think I would have rather gone off so I could have chipped. But, yeah, look at that. I went all the way up that hill. I couldn't. I came in way too hot. All right. So, shorten up the meter. We're going to throw this way out there. 55 down 9. Oh, uh, still not even close to getting it out far enough. That was a really tough one. Well, the distance control is terrible, too. All right, a lot of work to do here. Come on. Oh, nice. Needed that one. That got me to minus four net. Good shape here. Yeah, but I gave up a shot on each of those, but... This one, nice little hole. I actually prefer being into the wind a little bit because that way I will not get to those bunkers. Downwind, you will get to that bunker over there on the right. But into the wind like this, I should come up just shy of it, so that actually is ideal. Now, 170, I'm just going to loft it down a little bit because I want to get a little extra on that. I hope I didn't loft down too much. I don't want to go too far past the pin. Oh my goodness. That was almost a huge mistake. Uh, I didn't even pay attention, but look at that. You got that big slope there, so when you come in from that that angle, you got to stay right at the flag there. That was my mistake. Alright, let's see if we can chip in. Mm, darn it. Alright. Kind of gave away a shot there. Didn't take advantage. All right, going to the last hole here. Uh, think we can. Think we can go down this right side here. Come on, ball, go! I don't want to have trouble with that tree on the corner there. Go, go, go! It's going to be interesting. I think... Yeah, that tree's okay. I'm hitting... Oh, yeah. Not a problem. I, don't know if, well, I might be able to get to the front there. Might be able to chase this on. Come on. There we go. Alright, now turn to the left. Yep. 
it. <laughs> Gonna have a long putt in, but it is an eagle putt. Let's see what we got. So it's going left at the start. Pretty much it. So we gotta get it out here. 43 footer. Up 12. Uh, that's not bad right there. I'll take that. Should be able to tap that in. And he does. Alright, so I finished with the bird. I think I was giving up a shot though, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, so 13 under. You can definitely score on this course, that's for sure. But it's a lot of fun to play. It's, it looks awesome. But as I said, I'm a plus 10 right now, so that only gets me to minus 3 net. So overall leaderboard, what does it look like here? Oh, Brian Fuller with a minus 10 net. Let's kick about what's his... You can actually... He's a 3.3 handicap, so he's he played really well there. Uh, where am I? There we go. Minus 3... The net today gives me a minus three overall leader H hatch at minus nine net. So got a lot of work to do to try and catch him. My handicap, minor decline, okay. So two rounds. First round I ended up with even net. This round I was three under net, so I'll take that. That's not too bad. Of course this is only PC scores, so Xbox and, and PS4, I don't know what they're doing, but we'll see. Uh be happy if I can just get a top 10 in the uh, on the, P on the PC. There's 15 people so far that have played a couple rounds. So that's second round, guys. Thanks for thanks for tuning in and watching. Maybe who knows? Maybe I'll do another one uh, in the next couple days. Maybe I'll do my third rounds. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up just streaming all the rounds of these two events. That could be kind of cool. Uh, look tomorrow, HB forums. I should have a thread go up with who's going to be on the Wednesday live stream. That's Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll open it up to questions for that particular dev. So you can post questions in in the thread, and I'll ask those as we play on Wednesday. Uh, like I said, these um, I'll always do Fridays for this one, at least my first round of the two events. And then over the weekends, I'll get in the, the community play days, the Xbox and the PC. So look in the thread, the HP forums for those. I'll post a thread, hopefully by Wednesday the latest, once I know what my weekend plans are and, and exactly I can do it. And I'll open it up to sign up, so I'll have a couple of courses, user-created courses on those two platforms. And uh, basically, the first three people to sign up can play. Um, you can see right there, if you're on PC, there's my, my Steam ID. So set me up there. That's the same as I don't have a PlayStation right now. Hopefully, I'll get one in the near future. That is my PlayStation ID as well. And then on Xbox, there's no underscore. So it's just HB Keithsey. So make sure, you know, shoot me friend invites. We'll get set up. That way we can see each other on the scorecards. And um, yeah, anytime you see me on, if I'm playing around, feel free to feel free to jump in. I, I don't always do turn-based. I like to kind of just fly along in my rounds. But uh, I'll try and leave my auto-ed friends on open. And that way we can, uh, you know, maybe we'll get on the scorecard live if I see you jump in live. And, uh, you know, if I'm a couple levels ahead, I'll, I can always wait up. And that way we can kind of play through the rest of the way together. So... That would be cool. So anyway, guys, thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't hit that follow button at the bottom, definitely nail that button. I always appreciate that. And if you're watching via YouTube, uh, you know, after the fact, like and subscribe would be awesome. And we will see you next time. So let's just, uh, let me get through there. Make sure I advance it. There we go. All right. So we are... We are ready to go to our round three whenever we decide to do that. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or Tuesday. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.